back again. As you can see, I'm still working away on the boat. I have more to say about that in another video. I thought what I'd do, I'm still uh, looking for a crew figure, suitable crew figure, so I've been uh, buying a few more things. For example, these auxiliaries on the march. 172 skill, these are strelets. Okay, let's have a, let's have a quick if you look at the back of the box. The figures are so dark you can barely uh, make them out. But we can see the actuals. I think all these sprues are the same. I had a quick look at them the other day. I was actually. Uh, Amazed by these figures, just how good they are. Let's do a zoom in. Right. I mean, look at the detail on these for plastic figures. See them all there. Let's have a look at the backs. And you could, of course, uh, come up with a transfer or tackle for the shields if you wanted. They all seem to be about the same size. Now, this box contains uh, 40 figures. And there's five sprues of these. Each one, let's go zoom out a bit. Each one identical. Oops. oops. So if you wanted to, um, you know, build up your 172nd scale Roman Legion, your auxiliary part of it, wouldn't be a Legion then, would it? But you can see where these would be really good. And also for the ship, I was going to, I was thinking of uh, just having them standing, standing on the ship. They got different shields to the those ones, which I was going to put along the edge but that would be okay anyway i just thought these were fantastic figures fantastic figures i'll show you the box again that's let's see auxiliaries on the march all right that's that one well i didn't stop there i got this one as well Roman Auxiliaries ranks. Again, if you look at the back, the pictures there are so dark. I mean, who knows what that is? There's not much information on the box. Uh, warning, general instructions. Uh, wash with detergent before using colors. Uh, no, okay. So let's have a look at these again. Come loose. Five loose sprues. Put those over there, out the way. Now let's have a look at these. Let's zoom in again. Just look at the detail on these. A little bit of flash on that first one there. I mean, bearing in mind how small these are, I think these are superb. Again, you get the uh, 40 figures in the box, and there's five of these sprues, identical, with uh, eight figures on each. There's no command or anything like that in this box. I'll show you the back. Look at the little straps and everything. I didn't know these were um, 170 second scale. You'd be surprised, I think, anyway. I, I was just shocked at how good these are. Again, these are made by Strelitz. Yeah, it's, um, got it down there, Strelitz. Many, that's box number M124. The other box was M125. Uh, okay. 
So that's those two. Just pop them back in the box. So they're not quite finished yet. Got one more to do. Over there. No, this is a kind of a the piece de resistance. As they say, we've got 40 unpainted figures in 10 different poses. Obviously still 172 scale. Oh, these are new ones just out. These are from Linear A, 06, code 061. Imperial Roman Centurion, command set one. And if we have a look at the back of the box, we'll see what we're gonna get in here. Uh, Centurio Trajanic period, Emperor Trajan, then the dates, Centurio 1st to 2nd century, uh, Centurio 1st century, Tribune 1st 2nd century, etc. So they're all sort of uh, the, in that early Roman Empire uh, period. Quite good looking on here. Nice details. Uh, detailed and faithful scale model intended for collectors is 14 and above. May contain functional sharp edges and points, not a toy. Made in Germany. All right, let's see what we've got in here. Now, this this absolutely uh, sort of shocked me in a way. Let's put the box over there. Things come in a bag. And the first thing is. They seem to be resin figures. Let's zoom in. I mean, it's a little bit soft detail around his mouth, but apart from that, yeah, these are shockingly good. Again, I was thinking I could uh, cut the base off these and Put them on the um, on the deck. So that's one. You see his shield here. This one. It's got a pre-printed or whatever molded, whatever you want to say, um, design on there to aid with painting. Or I could put a sticker over it. But look at this guy. I mean. You know, doesn't that look fantastic? Look at his sword, look how sharp it is. The detail that is, I mean. So little resin figures. At least they feel like resin anyway. I don't know for sure. Um, I think that's the same one. Look at this guy as well. Look at the detail, even the straps on his, is that scabbard or is that, what is that? A telescope? Don't know. Then he's got his other hand on his sword. And they're well posed as, as well. They're not just randomly put together. But these look fantastic. These cost about twelve pounds, I think. From I bought them from Hanant's model shop online. Oh, look at this guy again. I don't know. Is that a telescope? Superb. Look, these are 172 scale. They're tiny. And look at this guy. Even the, like his little tiny finger pointing. Barely a hint of flash, just something down there at the bottom of his tunic. But I, I, don't, I think it'll just brush off maybe then. He's carrying a stick. We can refer back to the box and see which one he is. Um, he's that first one. 
Centurio Trajanic period. These are literally the best uh, 172 scale figures I've ever seen. I just I didn't imagine you could do this in 172 scale. Let's see, see if we get some other different ones. Um, have we done that one already? No. Another guy holding his helmet and sword, his gladius. See the cloak. And good facial details for the top half. A little bit smooth around his mouth, but at this scale that's probably realistic. So I was just thinking about painting, so that might make it a bit more difficult to paint. But nonetheless, super. Let's see. Let's try this one. And the guy with a pre-printed, pre-molded shield design pattern, carrying a large uh, pile of it just looks superb. Can't say enough good things about these for this scale. And how good are they going to look on the deck of a, a little bio ring over there? Still got to do the rigging in that. Okay, well, I'll just show you again the box so that I don't miss any of the poses. Um, it's, it's not the best uh, box in the world. So we've got that Centurio, another one with a stick. Um, this one with a shield. This one holding his helmet, we saw. That one sort of just posing. Again, like thinking about putting them on the ship as crew or... Uh, you know, as the uh, people, commanders, and so on of the of the of the ship. All right, there you go. I hope you like those and find that informative. I know that I was uh, totally shocked when I opened the box and saw just how good these were. And uh, I'll leave it there. See you in a while. Bye. Mm -hmm.